Welcome back to Max Recaps. Today I am going to explain a movie named Tomorrowland, released in the year 2015. At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Frank, an intelligent boy, who made in jetpack at an early age. Now he came to sell it, at a festival in New York City. But it got rejected, because it wasn't working properly. Frank becomes disappointed with this wastage of his efforts, and he leaves that place sadly. Now he meets with a girl named Athena, who gives him a lapel pin, where T letter was written, and Athena asks Frank to follow her. Frank does so, and takes a water ride, which reaches towards a tunnel, where his badge got scanned and Frank is sent towards the lift. But, here we come to know that, it isn't a lift rather a teleport machine. A machine that sends anything from one to another place without traveling. Now it sends Robert towards Tomorrowland. He gets astonished to see everything over there. Everything was high-tech and robotic. And it seems to be in another world. Frank was noticing everything over there. At that moment, Frank gets terrified to see some guards coming near him. While escaping, he falls down from a bridge, but Frank's jetpack saves him from falling down. Here, Frank realized that his jetpack was now repaired completely and was working too. Meanwhile, he met Athena in the same world. Athena tells that this land is called Tomorrowland. Frank starts to live with Athena in this world and was enjoying himself a lot over there. He did many inventions in Tomorrowland. Later on, many years pass. On Earth, we notice a girl named Casey. Her father was an engineer at NASA. Casey deliberately damages the programs of NASA, so that they need his father to repair that damage. And that's how she maintained her father's job over there. But this time, someone notices her, and then Casey get arrested. Now when Casey released, she found the same label pin as Frank was having. When Casey touches that lapel pin, she instantly reaches towards Tomorrowland. She was surprised to see everything over there. She never witnessed such advanced technology ever. She was enjoying it a lot. While traveling in Tomorrowland, her label pin starts countdown. Which indicates that the battery is going down. When the countdown stops at zero, Casey reaches back on Earth. She was too confused about everything that happened. She did not know that what happened, and what place that was. With the help of that badge, she gone towards Tomorrowland, and came back on Earth. She wants to solve her confusion, so she searches about the badge along with his brother. While searching, they find the address of a shop. Casey goes there, she showed them that badge, that she finds from her luggage. After watching that badge, those shop owners become astonished. They furiously investigate from Casey. But she was unaware of that badge. When Casey has not any answer, they start to shoot her with a gun. Casey runs away. Meanwhile, Athena appears and fights well with those shop owners. She kills one of them. Here we get to know that those shop owners were actually humanoid robots. Athena and Casey both try to leave the shop, and at the very moment, the second robot blasts himself. The shop burns, but luckily they both escape successfully. Now Athena drops Casey at Frank's house and she leaves. Frank doesn't allow Casey to get in. But she somehow enters Frank's house. She observes the advanced things over there, she gets impressed by Frank. Noticing everything, she enters in a room, where numerous screens were playing. On that screens, views of the past and the future events of the world were displaying. Watching all that, Casey gets more confused. Meanwhile, Frank enters the room, and asks Casey to go out. But Casey insisted, and tells that I will not go until you send me to Tomorrowland. Frank advises her to keep herself away from Tomorrowland. But Casey keeps on argument to go there. After noticing all high-tech things at Frank's home, she realizes that her friend is from Tomorrowland. She inquires that why you gets out of Tomorrowland. Frank answered her, that I made a future machine, and for that they sent me out from Tomorrowland. Frank acknowledged her that everything is true. The Earth is going to be destroyed soon. Casey does not believe in him, that it is not possible. Her strong belief brings a miracle, the time of destruction has now increased. That means, the life of Earth increases and the destruction goes beyond. It was so astonishing for Frank. Here, he realizes that the things which we believe often happens. When they were discussing, numerous robots comes there to attack Casey. But Frank rescues her and sits her in a bathtub. Before they catch Casey, Frank flies his tub which takes them towards the sky. While flying, Frank's house gets blasted, and with this, all the robots were destroyed. The tub takes them towards a river. On the same riverbank, they find Athena. 
Noticing Athena, Frank was angry with her. Because, in childhood, Athena never told to Frank that she wasn't a human but a robot. Now the three of them reaches Eiffel Tower, with the help of a teleportation machine. Here Frank tells Casey that a few years back, scientists invented a futuristic land. The purpose of the scientists was to invent something, and no one was there to stop them from the invention. Further they named it as Tomorrowland. Frank states that this tower is not for the beauty of this city, rather it's an antenna to catch frequency and transmit messages from Tomorrowland to Earth. Also, this tower is in the opposite direction of Tomorrowland. Further, there is a rocket that helps the scientists to take them to Tomorrowland. They were named it as Spectacle. Now the three of them sit on the Spectacle. As Frank starts the rocket, the Eiffel Tower divides into two parts. Everyone outside gets surprised. In fraction of time, they all were in Tomorrowland. The governor of Tomorrowland meets them. Frank informs him that in his futuristic machine, the future can be changed. But the governor neither believes nor does want to listen further. Frank somehow convinces him to listen. He takes Casey towards his futuristic machine. As of now, Casey watches her house in the machine. Her house was destructing, as shown in the machine, he states to Frank that the climate of the earth is damaging. But people on earth have no idea that the earth will be finished within two months, but Casey doesn't believe it and says that it is impossible. Meanwhile, their future alters in reality. Casey's house becomes normal as the destruction of the earth was terminated. Even witnessing this all, Governor doesn't believe in anything. After this, Governor sends them to jail. In the jail, Casey solves the mystery of this situation. She states that the futuristic machine of Frank is true. In the future, things happen in what we strongly believe. Further, she says that the messages of Frank's machine is sending messages to Earth somehow, and now the people of Earth start to believe in the destruction of the Earth. Casey suggests a solution to stop sending negative messages towards the Earth, so that human would start to think positively and with so, the future would be changed. They inform the governor about this, but he doesn't believe it. He states that the purpose was for them to do something for the Earth. Casey answers that they aren't doing anything because of the negative thoughts that come into their mind, they already accepted the destruction. The governor doesn't give any response to them. Later on, he asks his people to send them back to Earth. On going back, Frank greets the governor with his hands. But the purpose wasn't only greetings, rather, Frank pressed those buttons on his watch to open the Earth's door. Frank wants to take the governor on Earth. However, the governor starts to fight with Frank on Tomorrowland. Athena watches in futuristic machine that the governor would shoot Frank. So, she comes in front of Frank and rescued him by getting the shot all by herself. Because of this, her operating system was damaged. On the other side, a heavy door fell on governor. Casey hurriedly goes and takes his gun. Here Athena asks Frank to turn on her destructive button and takes her to the future machine. Frank does the same, he puts Athena near the future machine, and now she gets blasted. The governor also died when the machine fell on him. In the next scene, Casey again goes to Earth to meet his family. In the final scene, Casey and Frank are the governors of tomorrow's land. They bring talented people from Earth who wants to invent something. Noticing here, the time of destruction was passed, and Earth wasn't destroyed. Because of the belief of people that Earth wouldn't be destroyed. And now with this, the movie ends. If you like this video then subscribe to Max Recaps, and don't forget to check the left playlist before you leave.